Hey everybody, Sean here, and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Matthew Simmons for sharing this. In the past, we've shown that John Ramirez is a false teacher. He had one video with Isaiah Saldivar preaching that sowing financial seeds will break the devil's stronghold. Said no Bible verse ever. He's just another phony demon slayer putting on a performance and teaches that Christians need to have demons cast out. And we've also shown him mismatching his stories over and over again. It's easy to be honest. You just have to tell the truth. But liars have to remember all their lies. And eventually, they expose themselves. And that's what we're going to see today. In this first video, saying that John Ramirez died, went to hell, and woke up a Christian, we're going to lay a foundation. And let's be clear. We have every right to be suspicious of a salvation testimony saying that someone went to hell and just woke up born again. Not to mention the fact that he's been on the Sid Roth Show many times selling his stories and products. So let's listen to the first part. My, my experience was a, a horrific one. You know, it was a horrific one. I, I remember when I gave my life to the Lord, I, I threw away $100,000 worth of witchcraft stuff. You know, I had calderos in my house, I had toperas in my house, I had Yamaya Lopun, Lu Guerrero, El Egua. I had all these things in my house. These things are despicable, demonic, and abomination in the eyes of God. But they had that fear devil on you that if you leave, something's going to happen to you. They engraft that in you. If, if you step out of line, something, punishment is coming. So that stuff is engrafted in you. So when I left and I came to Jesus, I was tormented for 30 days. So here's the first issue. After he came to Christ, he was tormented for 30 days. But 1 John 5.18 tells us that everyone, not a few or most, everyone who has been born of God, everyone who has been born again, been made a new creation, does not keep on sinning, but he who was born of God protects him, and the evil one does not touch him. So scripture is very clear that Satan cannot touch a newly born again believer because they are under God's protection. But John is saying that he was tormented for 30 days. Listen to this. Non-stop, 30 days of torment. I would sleep during the day and the demons would come at night. The Peritita would do witchcraft to me from New York City, Miami, Haiti, and, and uh, Cuba, and back to New York. They would do witchcraft to try to destroy me, to try to rip my soul out of my body. They would choke me. Uh, the demons would choke me at night. I couldn't scream the words. I couldn't scream Jesus out. I felt like I was paralyzed. They, they would pull my legs. Jezebel, which, uh, which is Anaisa in, in, in the Dominican Republic, Anaisa, which is Anaisa Jezebel. Jezebel it would mm -hmm. come into my house. I would come. And Jezebel has to do, uh, uh, it's a festival of a chum in the rivers. Uh, so it would come into my bedroom. We're laying next to my bed. You can feel my bed stink down. No one was there. And you can feel the room go ice cold. I went through 30 days of that torment. And, and after the third day, it was gone. And I was like, I was asking Jesus Christ, what happened? Why did why this happen to me? And in the end, the Lord responded. He said, I want to see how much you trust me and how much you love me. They will never touch you ever again. And sure enough, them devils never showed up. And them devils never put their hand on me ever again. The end part is what's key. Demons never touched him ever again. And remember, this video was posted only 11 months ago, not to mention the fact that he's saying God allowed this, and that totally makes God a liar, according to the verse in 1 John we just looked at. In his book, Unmasking the Devil, we read in his obituary that he supposedly became born again in 1999. So when he's saying the devil never touched him again in that video just 11 months ago, that means for at least the past 23 years, demons didn't touch him again. Yet in his book, Destroying Fear, he says this, In 2002, the tormenting voices of fear reappeared, and the spiritual pharaoh was knocking on my door. He tried to strike fear into my mind by taking my eyesight for three and a half months, and the odds were extremely high that he'd never see again. So number one, the enemy did touch him again, so that lie is exposed. But this gets even worse. Let's hear another interview with him. I even took a sabbatical from witchcraft, and the devil punished me, took my eyesight for one year. I was completely blind for one year, registered with the commission of the blind. 
So either the devil has made him blind a couple of times or else he's getting confused on whether it was three and a half months or a year. And remember, I was completely blind for one year, registered with the Commission of the Blind. So he was registered with the Commission of the Blind. In his book, Out of the Devil's Cauldron, he shows this registration. But here's the thing, the date of this was in 2009. Remember, he said this. I even took a sabbatical from witchcraft and the devil punished me, took my eyesight for one year. My friends, these facts don't add up. If the devil took his eyesight for a year when he was taking a sabbatical from witchcraft and the certificate shows this happening in 2009, that means that he was still doing witchcraft after he was supposedly born again. Now, I know this may be hard for some people to wrap their heads around, so here it is again. In the video 11 months ago, he said those devils never put a hand on him ever again. And sure enough, them devils never showed up and them devils never put their hand on me ever again. Yet in 2002, he was made blind for three and a half months and also made blind by the devil for a year in 2009, according to the certificate that he shared. There's really no escaping this. In his book, he even teaches how to cast out devils, and he gets this part right. Casting out devils is not complicated at all, but is a matter of speaking to the unclean spirit and using the authority given to you and every believer by Jesus Christ. Commanding the unclean spirit to come out of the person in Jesus Christ's name and go. I couldn't agree more. So why do we see him doing the Daniel Adams song and dance and talking to the demon and taking forever to cast it out? Folks, deception is everywhere these days, especially in this demon slaying movement. Is it any coincidence that John Ramirez came from Satanism? Richard Lorenzo Jr. was a warlock. Jenny Weaver was a witch. And Isaiah Saldivar was a God-hating atheist. I don't believe personally that any of these people are saved based on their fruit. Most likely they realized that there's far more money in this phony Christian deliverance and just changed careers. But of course, that is just speculation. Anyhow, I hope this video has helped show that John Ramirez's stories reveal that he's not the person you may think he is. So please leave your thoughts in the comments below and until next time, take care and God bless.